how to get started with Facebook Business Manager or Facebook Business Suite. So I had a great time. Yesterday, I recorded a whole video walking you through how to get started with Facebook Business Manager. A couple hours later, log into Facebook Manager and it had completely changed and was now Facebook Business Suite. So what I think is happening right now is Facebook is essentially trying to combine a couple of the different kind of programs, applications that they have. So there's Facebook, I think Creator Studio, where you could share content to Facebook and Instagram. They're basically merging that with Facebook Business Manager. So it's kind of an ongoing process right now. The good thing is you can go back to the original Facebook Business Manager if you're more comfortable with that. But I'm basically just walk you through how to get your account set up, how to connect your Facebook page, Instagram account, how to verify your domain, connect an ad account, all the main stuff you would do with either Facebook Business Manager or Facebook Business Suite. So if you hop on a computer, here's essentially what it looks like now for me when I log into business.facebook.com. So essentially what we have here is you have your home, you can see the activity, your inbox, so any of the direct messages to a Facebook or Instagram account, your post ads, insights, and more tools. And you have the settings down here. If you go all the way down to give feedback, you can go back to just the normal business manager. I don't know how much longer they're gonna leave that there if this is what they're trying to push people to, but at least for right now, you can use the old fashioned business manager if it's easier to manage everything from there. But what I wanted to do today is just start from the very beginning if you don't have Facebook business manager or business suite and create an account to then connect your Facebook page, Instagram accounts, all the other things like that that you can basically do to make sure that you can manage everything that is Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp within just one website. So with that said, let's just open this up now in an incognito window so we can start from scratch. So what you'll probably see when you get to this page, business.facebook.com, is you're probably already logged into Facebook, I, had, I would have to guess, and you would just click on create account. If I click on create account right now, it wants me to log on to Facebook. Okay, so I'm just back at the same page again, but it's not, there's the login thing isn't here anymore, and I can then create an account. So if we say TFC for the fig code, demo my name and my email, and then submit. Okay, so the fig code demo account was created. So the next thing you wanna do is verify your email. I'm not sure if it's gonna give you all the flexibility or all of the functionality if you go and do all this and you don't verify your email. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so here is the email from Facebook Business Manager. Confirm my email address. All right, so if you create your account and land on a page that looks like this and it says Facebook Business Settings, this is essentially Facebook Business Manager. So within Facebook Business Manager, you have the users, you have your accounts, data sources, brand safety, integrations, payments, notifications, business info, etc. If for example, you let's click on business home. This right here is Facebook business suite and it's gonna take me to our other account. If we go here, essentially everything's gonna be empty right now. And so you're not gonna see anything here and it's not quite as straightforward of how to add people. So you could click on settings where I just did and you're gonna see essentially where I think Facebook is trying to change stuff to, to look something like this and have everything integrated together. So, okay, so within people, so let's add someone to our team. So let's add Laura, my business partner. And then so what I can do is give her admin access so they can have full control over the entire business. So for example, if you have an agency that has a bunch of different pages, ad accounts, Instagram accounts, you're probably not gonna give them ad access. As an employee, you would just give them specific access to certain accounts or if someone only does your facebook you would give them employee access and just access to facebook for laura let's give her admin access and then essentially click on next and then we can essentially go through hey if there's if there's different specific pages i can give her access to and then what type of role does she have so i could give her full control essentially then you have your business assets. So here you would go through and I can add the Facebook page. So if I put in the name, so if I put in the Figco, I could add those right here. It's already connected to another one, so I'm not gonna do it right now. The same thing with Instagram. So if I claim an Instagram account, um, it'll be connected here. And then so down below you see these like pop out things. So these are gonna take you to separate pages right now. but 
you know, Facebook is always changing, you're going to see more or less the same things. If you're looking at this six months later, there may be more stuff here and maybe Facebook business manager doesn't really exist, but basically the same stuff is going to be there. So obviously this is kind of a work in process for the Facebook business suite. So if I click on this for more business settings, this is essentially taking me back to Facebook business manager. So you can see Lauda is pending. And then below that, now you have some of the stuff that's not in business suite yet, which are say partnerships. So if you're working with a partner, you can share assets with them. So give them the, your, you know, the partner business ID, and then you'll basically be able to decide what you want to share with them. On the other hand, if you want to request specific stuff from them, you could click on this, get started. And then you basically put in the contact person, their Facebook business ID, your role and your partner's role to form that connection essentially. And then going down below, you have the pages. So within Facebook business manager, you can either add a page request access similar to the partnerships or create a new page. Now moving on to ad accounts. So I imagine for a lot of you, the main reason to get set up with Facebook business manager is to run Facebook and Instagram ads. Honestly, this is one of the most powerful platforms to run ads for your business. In this video, we're not going to cover creating an ad account or creating ads for Facebook or Instagram, but it's one of the next videos I'm recording for this channel. As soon as the video is ready, I'll link to it up above right here. But for this section, it's basically the same thing we just saw a second ago for pages. If you click on add, you have three options, add an ad account that already exists, request access to someone else's ad account, or create an ad account from scratch. If you have a bunch of different, you know, different business assets, groups, things like that, you'd manage that here. If there are any applications that would be managed within kind of the same ID for, or the same idea within apps, Instagram, same thing, you can add them here. If you have a, you know, much, you know, diverse multi-location, multi-divisions, you can have kind of the lines of business here. And then below that you have WhatsApp account. So if you have a WhatsApp business account, you can connect that here. Then moving down to data sources. So there's a couple of things here. So you have catalogs. So if you have products you sell online and you want to connect that to Facebook or Instagram, you can essentially create a product catalog here. And there's a bunch of different options. So you have hotels, flights, destinations, home listing, vehicles, vehicle offers, etc. And there's different ways to connect that that I'm not going to get into in this video. But if you want to learn more about product catalogs and Facebook, write catalog down below in the comment section. So Facebook pixel, these are really, really important if you want to run Facebook ads or Instagram because it essentially tells Facebook what happens after the click. So Facebook knows what happens on Instagram, on Facebook. Who do they show it to? Do they click on it? Do they like it? Do they share it, etc.? But once they click and go to your website, it's a black box to Facebook unless there's a Facebook pixel. With the pixel, Facebook can know, did someone sign up? What pages did they view? Did they add something to the cart? Did they initiate checkout? Did they purchase? And so you can know, hey, if I spent $100 on ads, I got $200 back from purchases. The next thing that's really important for the pixel is to create audiences. So if you sent someone to a page and they didn't purchase, you may want to run remarketing ads to them. And so you can only do that if you have the pixel installed. Also, you can create what are called lookalike audiences. So if you have a bunch of people that have purchased something on your website, you can essentially create an audience that are similar to those people that bought something on your page. So that's essentially finding your ideal audience to buy your products through Facebook ads with the pixel. So the next video I'm going to be creating is how to install the Facebook pixel on your website. If you're interested in learning more about that, check out the video up above right here. So offline events are essentially where you may have a physical business. And so you might run ads. People don't purchase online. They come into your shop and they purchase from you. You can essentially upload their name, email, phone number up to Facebook and then Facebook compares Here's who I showed ads to. Did any of those people come in and purchase? So that's essentially what are offline events. Then you have custom conversions. You have, you can share, you know, business creatives. Okay, so now moving on to brand safety. And so if I click on the domains here, here's where you essentially verify domains that you own and that you're going to be running ads to. And so this is just kind of another layer of security that Facebook is adding with all of the updates for iOS. So with the pixel information, the iPhone is sharing less data with say Facebook and other app companies. One of the things that Facebook is doing around safety and knowing, hey, who are ads being run to or where are they going is verifying domains. And then here, if you have you have registration, you can integrate. So if you run ads for lead signups, 
you'd essentially have access to that here. You have the security center. So do we want to add uh, two-factor to authenticate with two-factor or not? And then moving on, so notifications, business information. So I recommend you fill this out with your business name, address, phone number, website, you know, all the information here so that you can essentially verify your business. So that's basically everything you need to get started with Facebook Business Manager and Business Suite. Go to business.facebook.com, create an account, and basically pull together all the different Facebook related assets you have. So Facebook pages, ad accounts, Instagram accounts, WhatsApp accounts, and then you can manage all that in one place. If you want help managing everything, you can either add people or partners to help you manage it. You can add them as an admin or give them access to specific things that you want them to manage. If you're looking to get started with Facebook ads, there's two videos you should check out. The first one that I'll link to up above is how to install a Facebook pixel on your website. And the second video down below is how to get started with Facebook ads. Hope to see you in those and future videos. Bye-bye.